that when they finally announced that the crowd like went absolutely crazy. Look it up. That is true. Yeah, that was the Twilight Princess was like the first like not photorealistic but like gritty Zelda game, right? Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, yeah. that was so right before that the 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 only Zelda game before that that wasn't like maybe a handheld was Wind Waker, right? Yeah, I think that was part of the thing. Like people, some people thought Wind Waker was you know more more childish goofy and childish. And yeah. Yeah, so they're really excited about I that. actually... You, did you like Twilight? I really liked Twilight Princess. I did too. Yeah, it was probably my second favorite Zelda game. It was super easy. I never beat it. It was super easy. <laughs> uh, I didn't get challenged by that at all, but the final boss fight is probably one of the best Zelda boss fights of all time, if not the best. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but if you get to go back and play that game, that final, final boss fight of all the, the boss fights you get to fight in the Halo games I have played, that one's my favorite. Blev, favorite hmm. video game conference memories? Man, uh, off the top of my head, I can't really nail anything down, but I-, I would say probably when Call of Duty first came out, you know, and just seeing that, like, uh, War at War and... Um, the Modern Warfare or the older ones? Uh, like, when it, when it first came out for, like, uh, PlayStation 3, I believe, yeah. So, like, um, I don't know, I guess, well, my favorite one is... Uh, yeah, I think MW2, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Modern Warfare 2 is like the sequel to the most successful video game. I just sucked at Modern Warfare. All time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah and wait, wait, define most successful game, because I would say, wow. Modern World Warfare, Warfare was, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Console? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah console like, so World shooter. Console shooter. shooter. everything. Yeah. But when Modern Warfare came out, it was like this unbelievable cultural phenomenon. And that's what we're still experiencing today, every year. It's well, a, even like YouTube, if you think about it, yeah. you know, like that game came out and YouTube exploded with actual gaming channels just dedicated to Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty is a huge reason that there's game streaming is as popular as it is today. Yeah. Now, also, obviously, I know your games. League Wyatt, of Legends. League of Legends. Legends. League of Legends yeah. really is what. MOBAs. But, MOBAs are yeah. a huge, huge part of it. Sure. League of Legends. But League, of, League, of, League of Legends came out af- way after that. Called oh, right. Called Duty. I don't My, know what um, year League of Legends came out. I have or a couple. One. I have a couple favorite uh, memories from E3. I think. Um, one of my favorite memories from E3 was the Killzone 2 trailer <laughs> yeah. that came out. Um, the Killzone 2 trailer that came out, I think it was, I think it was for PlayStation 2? 3? 2? 3. three. It was 3. It was and, definitely and it, one and 2. And it was, it was photorealistic. Oh, and it looked insane. They're like, yeah. this is actual gameplay. And they said, this is actual <laughs> gameplay from a, a PlayStation 3. And I remember looking at it at the time, like, Wyatt and I were I totally I, 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 people. When I, I was saw like, that, fuck. Yeah. When I saw that, we I was lost. <laughs> ready to drop Nintendo. Because I wasn't even an Xbox player. I was ready to drop Nintendo like a freaking brick. Yeah. And I was like, fuck Nintendo. PlayStation I need that. towards that. Yeah, like, that is what I need. Yeah. And it was like the coolest trailer I'd ever fucking seen. And I kind of want to rewatch. We'll rewatch that for the show today just so you guys can see it. But like, fuck. I was like, are you serious? Like, okay. Like, we've we arrived. This, when we rewatch it, this was 2002. Yeah, yeah. You know, but still, like, it wasn't just the way it looked. It was also the way people looked and moved. The way your first person. It was it. It was like the way you were your wearing the helmet. Swayed, like the way your gun swayed. He and stumbled when he walked, you know what I mean? It was, it was amazing. Limped every once in a while. And, and, and like, I remember that just being the moment where I was like, I was a big Xbox player, and I was like, fuck, I think I need to ditch Xbox. I think yeah. I need to be a PlayStation guy, because this is too <laughs> amazing. I'm so jealous of this. And, like, you know, Halo fanboys like I was, you know, it was just like, shit, I don't have any shit to talk. Yeah. Like, that we was had amazing. We, like, just, we were like, guys, we're done. You guys won. And then when it came out, like, you know, months later, it was like, uh, that was rendered footage. That was not actual in-game footage. And then when the game came out, it, like, looked nothing like yeah. that. I mean, it was still a, pre- a pretty it game It was still a good time. game. It wasn't a bad game. And it was just like, fuck, it doesn't look anything like that, though. <laughs> um, so that was one of my favorite memories. Also, uh, I remember I had just gotten um, surround sound in my basement, and they had the teaser trailer for Halo 3. And it was the one where uh, Master Chief is, like, looking uh, at, like, the edge of a cliff. He's, like, walking, and he's got – he looks over the he edge. The and the, I th- uh, Did he I have, w- like, a cloak on, too? Or am I, I thought that, that was the most recent one. Was that one? four? That yeah. was four. It was the one where he gets, like, the – he's, like – he slams down and, like, reveals that he has a bubble shield. <gasps> yeah! And then, no, like, it gets about. to, like – he gets to the edge, and then, like, the big, like, uh, forerunner structure rises from the, from the ground. Yeah. And I had surround sound. We used to watch in my basement and just crank the surround sound all the way up. And it was like, fuck, this is sweet. And the music. And it was like, doo. And you just yeah. the E. Boop. It's just E. Boop. Boop. Yeah. You just hit. So if you go on your, like, a piano and you just hit four E's, 
and boo, and you're just yeah. like, that's Halo. That's Halo. It was so cool. Uh, so, so yeah, those are those are our favorite memories, guys, of E3 and our E3 predictions for 2017. Again, make sure to reach out to us with your favorite E3 memories. We'll, le- we'll read them live on our reaction show. Again, you can reach out to us at Geeks. That's G-E-E-K-S at H-O-T-Y-B dot co. This show, along with all of our shows, are brought to you by Signatures, Millstone Tavern, and Gehanna, Ohio. A great place to go and watch some of the NHL playoffs, uh, some of uh, the NHL finals, as it were. Yeah. Uh, or watch the NBA, NBA finals. finals. Watch the Cavs uh, th- just absolutely thwomp. Is that a word? It, it could is. be. Yes, it is now. The Warriors. Uh, <laughs> King James will reign supreme. Uh, it's a great place to go. If you mention that you are a hold on to your butts listener, you will get 5% off your bill. So please make sure to mention that you are a hold on to your butts listener at uh, Signatures, Gehanna Muslim Tavern. Uh, and enjoy E3, guys. Uh, the next time you hear from. Wait, no. It's next Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Next yeah, Sunday, not yeah. this Sunday, but next Sunday. So we'll have one more show before that. It's my birthday that. this weekend. One more show. Oh, oh look out for birthday. birthday special next week. Big old 2-1. Uh, so we, we will, <laughs> yeah, we, we will have one more show prior to, to E3, um, and uh, make sure to tune in for that. Uh, guys, thank you so much for listening today. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Uh, enjoy. Uh, and, buddy, give us a uh, outro word. What does that thump sound like? Come <laughs> on! <laughs> <laughs>